another javelina attack, the second in less than two months. This time, it was a woman who was walking her dog near Sabino Canyon. Not in your sides, Priscilla Casper is live near where the attack took place yesterday. Priscilla, what happened? Good evening, Guy and Stella. A woman is out of the hospital today and recovering from two two-inch gashes across her knee from a javelina attack. It happened near East Snyder Road and North Sabino Canyon Road. Mark Hart from the Arizona Game and Fish says around 8.30 last night, a woman was walking with her dog and a javelina charged at them. Hart says javelinas can't tell the difference between a coyote and a dog, so when they see a dog, they'll try to become defensive and attack to protect themselves. So we want people to understand, first off, it's spring. People are out and so is the wildlife, very active at this time. If you are out walking your dog and you see a javelina, immediately turn around and go the other way. More often than not, when someone is bitten by a javelina or injured in any way, it's because a dog is involved. Hart says the second leading cause to a javelina attack is when there is a presence of dogs. The first leading cause is feeding them, which is illegal. He says some defensive behaviors to look out for if you see a javelina are teeth clacking, growling, or snorting. Now, Hart says javelinas don't see humans as a threat, but if you are with a dog, a javelina is most likely going to attack. Reporting on the east side, Priscilla Casper, Kega 9 on your side. Great reminder, Priscilla. Thank you. The